Well, a very good afternoon to you, Sandra Tunovil and our audience. I am coming to you from Kabale, just a few meters uh, to Kabale uh, town. And just behind me is a cross-border roadblock that has been mounted. This is the day two of uh, uh, the cross-border enforcement by security to deter people from crossing from one district to the other. And actually behind me, once you cross this roadblock, you will be in Rwanda, and that's Kisoro uh, Road. And actually you can see those are some of the... Uh, police officers that are trying to stop cars that are coming from the other side, but also those that are leaving Kabale town to cross uh, the other side. From yesterday, of course, we have been to many different places, especially also from Kabale town to Ruchiga. That's when you are going to Ntungamo, and uh, the enforcement has been going on. The situation is like any other place that we saw yesterday. People, uh, those who have been denied to access the other district, coming out to complain. Uh, those who are also saying they are sick, they needed to take their uh, people for treatment to the other district and have been uh, refused from accessing. And those are some of the conversations that you can listen uh, from the people who are trying to cross uh, these uh, borders here. But well, of course, we know that uh, some other people, especially those who have genuine reasons, all those who are essential workers, health workers among others, have been allowed to cross. And the major challenge from the security angle is that the border border riders have become errant. The border border riders are the ones who have become a major challenge in as far as how this enforcement is done here. The border border riders come, uh, leave the passengers like at a distance, then they cross on foot. They get them uh, from the other side after crossing and they take them to the next destination. And actually, according to the security here in Kabale, this is the main challenge that they are grappling with. Well, of course, like uh, I said earlier on, other places that have not uh, mounted this. When you drive actually uh, from uh, uh, Chisoro here, sorry, I mean from Kabale to Rubanda and Chisoro, the either side between Chisoro and uh, Rubanda, there is no any uh, uh, roadblock. That gives you uh, a, an indication that probably in some of these districts they, are, they have not been, you know, paid attention and they are focusing on the major ones here. But like you can see, those are some, if my camera person is able to show you, those are some of the border borders uh, that have been impounded. And like I said earlier on, the border border riders are the ones that have not complied uh, to this directive here. The buses, I've not seen any bus here in Ikabale. And I'm told you, they have complied. Most of they have packed their buses, but the border border riders have remained errant. They are not listening, and they do not want actually to uh, listen to what the security officers are telling them. And that's when you can see some of them being impounded there. But this is the day too. Uh, the people, those who are driving personal cars and others, have complied. But it's only border border riders that have remained to be a challenge in as far as how this uh, enforcement is done here in Kaval. Maybe many other places that have not entered the day two of this roadblock enforcement. But here in Kabale, this is how the situation is like. Sandra Tunovido, back to the studios.